At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So right now, I'm on an iguana farm south of Miami, Florida. I'm hanging out with the lovely Desiree, and right now, we've got to feed all these iguanas. I'm Dave Kaufman and I am obsessed with reptiles and I have been since I was nine years old. 25 years later, I made a trilogy of award-winning movies about them. Now my life is all about touring the world in search of them in wild places and checking out some of the most awesome breeding facilities and reptile expos while I'm at it. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. So what are we feeding here? So these are right. shredded collard greens. Shredded collard greens. Okay. Um, and then this is pretty much anything I want to make it once I um, soften the tortoise chow. I could blend bananas, fruits, um, vegetable, and as long as I kind of puree it and pour it in there, I can get them to eat almost anything I want them to eat. Gotcha. So this is basically just tortoise chow. Basically, yeah. Tortoise slash reptile chow. This box is for the small ones. Okay. And then this, these greens are for them. So first I'll go in and kind of clean, do a little cleanup first. All right. I'm just kind of getting rid of the old hey, stuff. Hey, buddy. Okay, so this one laid her eggs about a week ago. She laid them in that corner. Right in that corner. Instead of the pretty box that we've Yeah, her. so you give them this egg box. Pretty box. We've totally ignored it. With beautiful sand to dig. <laughs> and she laid over here. And then she laid right in the hot rocks. Yeah. And she put all the rocks back flat. So there's no way I would have been able to tell that there were eggs. The only clue that I had was that she kept pushing sand out from the box. Yeah. And trying to put it over this corner. So I thought... Let me check the corner because it looks like she's trying to put sand on it. And right. as soon as I did, I took a photograph of it. She laid the eggs right there and they kind of blend in with the rocks. And she laid 17 under there. So she laid 17 eggs underneath here, kicked all of that rock and sand out, all out laid her eggs, and then pushed it all back so that you couldn't see that there was a nest in there. Exactly. Good job, mama. Thanks for that. <laughs> Desiree just told me that because I have the bucket, that these guys are gonna charge me. So let's see what happens I, I here. Don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about charging. Well, look at this. They're all ignoring me so far. I've got the bucket. Nothing. Yeah. I got this guy interested. Look, 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 he's eating my foot. <laughs> we got the food up here. So, okay, so you do have the bucket. I do so have the bucket. If you take a good spoonful of that okay. stuff and you show them, they'll all start, you know, yeah. as you say, charging. And that, that one wants my toe. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna climb me. Yeah, he's, he's gonna. A climber. All right, yeah, come on up. You can do it. Come on. He's totally a climber. Here. All right. I'll hold that. You hold that. You, you take care of the climber. All right, come on up. Because he's gonna come up. Come on up. Oh, here, let me help you. There you go, buddy. Come on. There you go. Here. Munch a bunch. Whoa! Those nails are long, right? Yeah. There you go, buddy. Totally don't have to do this. I could just put the food down. Well, yeah, but then you have no interaction with them. I love feeding them, and I love that they love me. You could totally use me like a treat. <laughs> and he is. Any day you want. Oh my goodness. He's like, excuse me. <laughs> it's my turn. He just—he knocked him down. Yeah. Get off the girl. <laughs> this is my girl. So yeah, I love feeding them. So. 
for me, it's interaction. I don't just come in here and leave the food. I love to interact with them. Absolutely. I think it's really good enrichment that you like work with them one-on-one. -on -one. Cause yeah, you could just dump yeah. this crap right here and just let them at it and go on to the next cage, but. Well, you know, if any of these ever get rehomed or they find their way to new homes, they will already have some human interaction. That's right. So. No, that's actually really awesome. That one still has his whole bin all to himself. <laughs> all right, we gotta go. Look oh, look at that. They're, they're just like, waiting They're like, next. For all right, let's go into that let's one. Let's go now. All right. Moving on. See you guys. All right, guys, so. Okay, so when you come in here, make sure you lock behind you. Lock behind me, all right. I'm grabbing the bucket. We're going in with the spazzy iguanas. I can almost tell them apart just by their personality. All right. Well, he doesn't look like so much of a spaz. Yeah, give it a second. You got the bucket. Oh, I got the bucket. All right, here we go. So I'm... It's that bucket that's going to tell all. Look, watch, watch. All right, spazzes. Wait, wait, wait. Before oh, wait, you, wait, before wait, you, before wait, you do wait, that, wait, watch. Wait. Watch what they'll do. All right. Watch. He'll, he'll jump in. <laughs> or fall. <laughs> They're so Whichever. graceful. <laughs> comes first. Like I see it, I made it. Yes. Yes. All mine. Here's the mesh. There you go, guys. Here you go. All right. Eat up, everybody. It's gonna get crazy here. We should. Um... Yeah. Look at this. They're like little piranhas. They are. And if you're not watching your fingers, they'll grab that too. Yeah. Well, look at these guys. God, they're so adorable. Aren't they? I can't get enough of them. This. Is probably my favorite. Okay, how long is that guy gonna be chainsawing? <laughs> no. Does he do, does he do that all day long? No. Oh, no, all right. I, I mean, to be honest, it barely ever happens. Yeah. All right. Well, so we'll deal. So I'll just come in here and kind of. Oh, see, that was an egg. Oh yeah. But it was a flop egg. That was a dud. Total yeah. flop egg. I wouldn't. I wouldn't bother putting that in the incubator. No, look. There's another one here. She's kind of been laying them like this. Yeah. And she's laying them really random, and I'm not sure why she's doing it. And I don't know which one it is. Is this her first clutch? Um, no. No, it's not. Um, but I'm wondering if any of her eggs were even fertilized, and that's why. That could be. Here. Huh, that's kind of a bummer. So King here is the stud albino. There's a female albino here. And all these other normal looking ones are all head albino. Yeah, this guy's gonna whip me right in the face. Yeah, watch out, because it really hurts. Yeah, I know. You, go, go stand over there, buddy. I can never tell when she's done. <laughs> She'll just stop and go to sleep. So when she falls asleep, she's done eating. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the signal. Yeah, it looks like she's just about done. You just laid. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys just chill, seriously. You are no longer amusing. <laughs> <laughs> Yet you laugh. Yet I laugh. Well, they're just so comical when they get all attitude-y. <laughs> yes? Ah, oh, you do want food, okay. Alright, I didn't know. I love, I love how he holds your hand I'll like hold that. Your hand while you eat. <laughs> Alright. That is so awesome. <laughs> Look at that mouth. So dirty. So dirty. God, these are spoiled iguanas, aren't they? <laughs> oh, what a good guy. So in this enclosure, we've got three gravid females and they're gonna lay any time now. All right, so when they're gravid like this. Mm -hmm. They get real thin, they stop eating. They just, they're completely packed, poor thing. So they stop eating and they get real thin on me. So as soon as she gets, so as soon as she lays these eggs, a few days later, she'll start to eat again for me. Um, and you can see that she's digging already holes everywhere. Um, and I'm not sure where she's going to decide to put the eggs. 
just yet. Yeah, she's been digging here. I got a hole on that side. You got marks here from her tail. But no eggs yet. Should be any day. Any day. So these two are gravid also. Mm -hmm. And you could see her egg even more oh, when she sits though. Oh yeah. You see those little bumps in her belly? Yeah, she's a little chubster. She's got the little bumpy chubster. All right, then we gotta hose them down. Yeah, I'll spray these girls a little bit. Right now, I'm not keeping water dishes in the cages. Okay. Um, because I'm afraid that they'll lay the eggs in the water, and then the eggs won't be any good. So That's probably good thinking. Well, it's kind of, it's from experience it's happened. So um, I'm making sure that on a daily basis they, they have a sprinkler system that I turn on. Um, you know, if I can't come over here and hose them, but typically you'll see them just drink from the water that I that I spray. Yeah. See how she just drinks. Yeah. I think the thing that I love most about iguanas is they're like little scaly green puppies. All right, we've got one more cage to do here. All right, let's grab this and we shall move on to this cage. Believe it or not, the iguanas are, they're popular amongst people as far as well, yeah. wanting to own them, but they're actually not that easy to own. The biggest thing is UVB. Natural sunlight's the best um, for them. So you've got natural sunlight, um, a decent range in their diet. Um, you don't want to do just greens all the time. You want to throw in some fruit, um, some calories. So that's what the mash is for to keep their weight up. Um, they metabolize so quick in the heat. Um, so most people will have them where there isn't natural sunlight. So you have to consider lighting um, and you'll have to consider that you'll have to keep them on a cycle where you start in the morning and then turn off the lights at night, let the temperatures drop and keep that consistent. Um, and and they, do, they do well in captivity as long as you know uh, what to feed them. So you're lucky enough to live in Florida where you get natural UVB, you can keep these guys outside. But like for idiots like me that live in a frozen tundra of Minnesota, what advice do you have for keeping iguanas indoors? So iguanas indoors can get a little tricky. Um, when they're small, um, they could be kept in tanks, glass tanks. You just have to regulate temperatures. They do need high heat during the day. Um, they also need UVB light. They won't be getting outdoors. Um, so you'll have to have pretty much two lights on them. Um, about 12 hours a day, roughly. Um, and then you drop the temperature at night. But once they get to about the size of the iguanas in this cage, um, you're going to want to move them into something much larger and maybe even more ventilated. Um, small spaces for these guys is just not great. They stress out. They like to have the room. Um, so if you're going to get an iguana and you want to have it for the entirety of its life, you're going to have to consider a decent amount of room for the iguana and you're going to have to consider always having the UVB and the high heat spots for them so they can metabolize and they can eat um, hopefully on a daily basis. And believe it or not, this is one of the translucents. This, so this is a translucent yeah. here. And he looks kind of like a red, doesn't he? Yeah, he really does. There you go, buddy. Don't you whip me. Don't you do it. Don't you... Uh, really? Really? You call that a whip? This one's special. Don't taunt him. He's going to get you. <laughs> he is getting me, but he's doing it so wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> so... Finnegan is special, but you are extra special. And not in a good kind of special way. All right, you're a spaz. Goodbye. <laughs> eat 
and whip at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I put my hand out because I have been hit in the face and it hurts so bad. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh we love that. Oh, we love that. Oh yes, oh yes. Look at that one standing like a monitor. Maybe he's he like, thinks I'm he's not an I am human. Under dur, dur, dur. All right, guys, so we have just finished cleaning every one of these cages and feeding all the critters. So right now we're heading into the Everglades for a little herping. So like this video, share this video, do all the things. Get off my, ugh. hit that subscribe button. And when you do, YouTube makes you hit that bell so you never miss an upload. So right now, again, we're heading into the Everglades. It's gonna be awesome. So until the next adventure, love the planet. Feed your reptile obsession. And, and rattle, rattle on. on.